In this video, I want to go ahead and work on the issue of the client being kind of one purchase behind for updating their gold. So I'm currently going to play as a client. So let's go ahead and pick up some gold. Try to buy an item. So we're at 150. I buy an item, still at 150. But when I buy the item again, it jumps down to 50. So it updates the second use. We need to do that first. And as well as we are currently only doing the checks on the server as well. I want to do them on the client so that way if it fails on the client, it's not even going to make its way to the server. So here we have, let's see, use item. If authority, which is going to fail, we run the else. So essentially, uh, essentially, we want to run this logic right here. So let's see, we have use remove item. We're going to just run what's in the else statement. We want to check and see if the shopkeeper is valid as well. Also, uh, let's do a test. We should be able to remove that on rep as well. So I want to do that test first just to make sure. Play as the server real quick and uh, just see. It should be fine. Yeah, that's what I figured. Actually, no, that put me a tick behind as well, I think. Yes, it did. Okay, so we do need to trigger that on rep immediately after. We're not, I really thought the use would go through and do that. Yeah, it should. Oh, well. We'll leave it there. Okay, so let's go back to the use item. So basically, we want to trigger the buy item, but on the client instead. Well, on the client first, because buy item also returns a boolean. So if it returns true, we want to continue and run it on the server. Otherwise, we want to return false. So we're going to do a check. So if shopkeeper, if shopkeeper, buy item, pass in ourselves and the item subclass, then we want to continue on and pass in the server. But we're going to do a check. So if this is false, what we want to do is return. So nothing, none of this runs. We don't even want to get onto the server or anything because obviously it fails on the client. So we don't want to do anything. There's no point to tell the server, hey, I wanted to buy this, but it failed. So make sure everything's good to go on the server, which it is. I forgot I was on the server. Let's go to the client. Pick up the gold. Let's try to buy something. All right, we're still one use behind. That's because I'm a dope, and we gotta go ahead and we probably should call this on rep just for the sake of it updating on ourselves because, well, we need it to. And realistically, the only way the code's gonna run here, anyways, or sorry, I actually wanna do a else. So let's, if shopkeeper buy item is successful, then we want to call the on rep for our inventory. Otherwise, we return. So because this should only really run on the client that is, you know, trying to purchase the item anyways, we're just going to go ahead and call it. We're not going to bother doing a locally controlled check. There's no need. Because, again, other clients should not be running that code. If they are, something is screwed up somewhere else. All right, so let's try it. Click it. And there it updates instantly. We now have that set up. We have our health and food. I can use the med kit and the food. And that works all the same. Alrighty, let's just confirm one more time. Let's just try two clients because, you know, why not? Freedom. We are now on the 4th of July, so uh, let's, uh, yeah. But I'm, I'm just going to stop there. Actually, I need to actually, I need to add more gold. Let's, uh, let's bump this one up to 100. I went up to 200, and we'll add one more of the hundreds. There we go. Ready? So this client here, I'll pick up 200 and be facing that way. And whoops. Right, so I can't see the inventory there. I need to be about that width. 
In this clan, I'm going to pick up both golds, facing this way. There we go. Now I can kind of see both. Alright, so I'm going to buy the item on client 2. Client 1 gets updated just fine. I'm going to buy as much bread as I can. And it all gets updated and synced. Because remember, it's getting transferred from the server back to the client. So everything should be synced up when this happens. Then I'm just going to buy uh, the remaining 4. And it disappears. And so did my gold. So I can't purchase anything more because I've used them all up. So we're... Good to go. The only thing I'm kind of curious about now is what happens. I spend all my gold. And then use more. Make sure nothing weird breaks. Okay, I think I just saw a bug. Let's try on the lesson server to see. Right, so I'm going to pick up gold. I'm going to buy some of that. Pick up more gold. And it does not appear, but if I pick up that, that appears, and then I pick up more gold. So the gold is not reappearing. Okay, let's try to do a quick look at possibly why. So if we pick up, we add the item to the inventory. Yeah, that's what we normally do. What would be different with gold? I can't imagine anything would be. So gold just has no use in it. Who does? Maybe it is because we are not calling. I highly doubt that. The super would cause it, but just, you never know. Just to see and narrow it down. Again, it shouldn't be affecting it. So pick up gold. Buy some stuff. Pick up more gold. Yep, figured. That's not the issue. Let's check our widgets. So it very well could be. So we're, let's print out some gold. To pick out, we have 100. Buy one, we have nothing again. Pick up another 100. So we do have gold. It is just not updating in the widget. So that narrows that down. And we are, in fact, updating our widget. So we have an issue lying somewhere else. So we know it's in our inventory, it's just not being displayed. So we can try to narrow that down a little bit later. So let's see, what do we do in this video? We, oh yeah, we fixed the client. So we got the client synced up, that's good to go. Uh, the last thing that we have to do is just fix that little gold bug, and uh, we are done. And then we can work on that little side uh, iteration that I mentioned earlier that a Discord member requested. So, we are pretty much done with our inventory and shop system. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons, as well as you get early access to nearly all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.